Part of what makes the Alien series so compelling is its characters, in particular the seven ill-fated souls aboard the Nostromo in the original 1979 film. They're interesting characters that have been increasingly expanded upon with supplements to the film, such as Alan Dean Foster's novelization, the Weyland Yutani Report, and even DVD special features. These, and especially the latter of such, contributed to fans seeing the characters in different lights. The 2003 Alien Quadrilogy DVD set specifically revealed material related to the Nostromo crew files seen during Ripley's hearing with the company in Aliens. While obstructed in the background in the film, the DVD special features allows the viewer to view these files in full, giving access to previously unseen and unheard of details. For example, Dallas's file includes some of his work history, which actually reveals the Tyrell Corporation from Blade Runner as a previous employer, which, among other sources, has led many to believe that Alien and Blade Runner may take place in the same universe. Another detail that stood out from these files that has sparked debate post-2003 was Lambert's file, which has brought her gender into question. The file contains plenty of personal data, her date of birth, height, weight, hair color, and under gender, it states female with unnatural in parenthesis. There are further notes expanding upon this under remarks on the file stating the following. Subject is Despin Convert at birth, male to female. So far, no indication of suppressed traumas related to gender alteration. So if we take this information at face value, then Lambert is in fact transgender, and this revelation could have come to light right under our noses as early as 1986. Likely another addition to countless precisely detailed world building that James Cameron brought into the conception of aliens. Many implications can be taken from this detail, actually, one being that in the world of Alien, the gender of a baby, newborn, or possibly even in utero can be changed, and with seemingly relative ease. Although, this is something that goes on file and is monitored. The file goes on to mention other observations of Lambert, that her social skills are at a level that Weyland yutani deems more suitable for smaller crews, and that she displays slight traits of hyperactivity and nervousness. While really there's no further explanation needed as to why Lambert reacts to the increasingly dire situation the way she does, it's details like this that give just a little bit more weight as to why she is the most shaken and despairing member of the group when things take a turn for the worse, especially once Dallas succumbs to the alien in the vents. We can gather, however, that this behavior has no origin in her gender reassignment. So could this file on Lambert be considered, for lack of a better way of putting it, true? If it is true, and Cameron's envisionment of a more progressive future surrounds the world of Alien, then a Despin convert at birth may be a fairly innocuous and common procedure. Maybe it was something the rest of the crew already knew about, or maybe it wasn't. Surely Dallas, at least, must have had the information, if he chose to access it, being Captain. And Ash, having access to all of Mother's juicy secrets, likely would have been privy to this information as well. Maybe it even gives him some ideas for later on with Ripley, where, as an asexual machine, essentially, he creates this makeshift phallic object out of a rolled-up magazine as he attempts to do... whatever you think he may have been trying to do before Lambert and Parker came in to save her, and Lambert is the one to finally take Ash down by penetrating him with a long, phallic object. Not to get all Freudian on you here, but when H.R. Gigerart is the base for the entire movie, there's going to be some psychosexual thematic repercussions. Though, sometimes a cigar is just a cigar, isn't it? I think when it comes to the matter of Lambert's gender, it all depends on whether or not you take this background information fully to heart, which, personally, I'd say I'm kind of on the fence about. Mainly because there's no other resources that can confirm or even suggest this, certainly not in the actual movie, not in the novelization, or even the Wayland yutani report, which is quite generous with its background information, though there's no gender reassignment information here. Also, I haven't seen any comments from either Cameron or Scott on the matter, but maybe there's an interview out there shedding a little more light on this background information. For now, though, I suppose it's up to us, the audience, to make the final determinations. What do you think? Is this a revelatory supplement to the film, or is it more in tune to, say, the Blade Runner connections, which can be seen more as an easter egg and not a definitive take on the character? Comment below and share your thoughts. As always, I'd like to thank you very much for watching today. I really appreciate it, and if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like, and you can also subscribe for all the latest videos from the channel. A very, very special thanks goes out to Wayland Yutani Executives, Emurik, and Lady Am, part of the Patreon Hive. If you'd like to join the Hive and support the channel, check out my Patreon page for exclusive posts and contests. 
In the meantime, you can catch up with Alien Theory over social media. Follow at Alien underscore Theory on Twitter and at Alien Theory YT on Facebook and Instagram for more. And until next time, this is Alien Theory, signing off. <laughs>